Hello Leo, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your general monthly reading. This will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate with every Leo watching as it's gonna be a general reading. So feel free to check out your other signs for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. The situation that I talk about today could have happened in the recent past, the current present, or it could happen in the near future as time is fluid. So just keep that in mind. And roles can be reversed. So I could be talking about you, Leo, or another person. So just flip the roles as they resonate with you. All right. So spirit, what do you have for Leo? Messages, please. For Leo. What messages do you have for Leo? Thank you so much for your comments, likes, subscribes. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. And I'm starting to recognize some of you, which is awesome. Okay, we have Angel of Balance here. Um, very similar to um, Temperance. I'm getting equality. Why am I getting equality? Probably because there's pyramids in the background. I'm not sure. But I'm getting that some of you want things equal with Angel of Balance, and then I'm have victory, um, success, and recognition. I'm gonna read the Angel of Balance one just in case. I feel like um, there might be more messages for that one, so I will take a look at that. Um, again, um, thank you for your support. I do not do personal readings, um, but as a compromise, I'm starting to do extended. So if this particular reading resonates with you, check out the description box, and um, you can get more clarity on the message that I talk about here today and um, I feel like that's a good compromise because I don't really have the time to dedicate right now to personal readings not the time that I would love to dedicate to personal readings I take them very seriously so I hope that is helpful helpful to some of you all right Leo anything else for Leo walking away interesting There's gonna be victory in a decision that you make is what I'm getting here. Some of you are walking away and you'll be very successful is what I'm getting. Um, let me read this Angel of Balance real quick before we move on. Okay, so this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium is now coming to your life. Remain conscious about how you're balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy as well. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction and the angel will guide you to a peaceful and centered approach. Again, um, your intuition will lead you in the right direction. I feel like that's what this card is telling me with walking away. Some of you are walking away towards success and you don't know it yet. Um, so let's get into the tarot and see what this is all about. Messages for Leo, please. What does Leo need to know, please? Messages for Leo, please. All right, let's get into this. Oh my gosh messages for leo my cards have been so good recently <laughs> we'll see if i can keep it up so these are meant to be general readings for a lot of them are turning into romance readings so we'll let spirit decide what message he wants to share i will try to wow look what just came out temperance we was just talking about temperance with a general balance i will try to um keep try to what am i trying to say I'm going to try to talk about as many scenarios as possible that I see in the cards so that I can um, talk about love and other stuff as well. Temperance and the Three of Swords. Interesting. Something painful. I feel like a lot of you are healing from a painful situation here. What else for Leo? Something hurt your, your feelings. Two of Swords. Feeling stuck. That is way too many. Something hurt your feelings here or caused you pain. Um, there's probably betrayal here. Um, I feel like you're either healing or trying to find some more some balance between within your emotions is what I'm getting. 
Six of Cups, there could be someone from the past, and Ten of Cups, there could be something from the past that you're walking away from. I, I'm only saying that because I see walking away. Some of you are walking away from a past connection, and some of you are walking towards a soulmate type of connection. For others of you, I'm really getting this could have something to do with family because I have Ten of Cups and Six of Cups here. Maybe um, you're trying to restore balance in your family life. Tell me more about um, messages from, I just, Mercury retrograde is really messy with me. I'm starting to really feel it. So, what messages do you have spared for Leo? What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know? Five of Wands. I feel like this Five of Wands has to do with this Three of Swords above it. Um, some sort of conflict or drama or um, just not seeing eye to eye about something has caused you some pain. Tell me more for Leo. Wow, that just flew out. Three of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. For some of you, this is a work situation. Some of you are deciding about walking away from a job. Others of you are trying to decide to walk away from a family uh, situation or um, a relationship that wasn't balanced. I am going to clarify, so let's just get into it and see what this is all about. Tell me about temperance. Could be a Sagittarius, someone with Sagittarius in their chart that you're dealing with. Wow. Yeah, I'm getting, there's some sort of balance here in your home life or within your relationship. Others of you have left a relationship and are now single. And I feel like this relationship was long term. Um, others of you are tired of being single. You want victory with someone. There's Empress. Empress wanted to come out earlier. Um... Yeah, I feel like a lot of you want to be married and stable in, in a happy home. I feel like either you or someone else wants this with you. Others of you are trying to find balance within your... It's almost like you're trying to find balance between work and home. This Nine of Pentacles, she's very... Um, she's a hard worker. She's worked hard for what she has. Some of you could be a little too focused on work. Um, others of you are just, you're doing good right now at home and at work financially and within your stability. Tell me about this three of swords though, but something has happened here, Leo. What's this? Whoa. Okay. So 10 of swords there, there definitely was an ending here that happened that left you heartbroken. Some of you are kind of looking at the past and wondering if you put in too much effort in something. Others of you are wondering if you're ever going to get out of this energy. If you're ever going to if you're ever going to find something better. Um, yeah, I feel like some of you have invested in something that maybe didn't work out, and you're putting an end. I have death under the deck, so definitely could be dealing with a Scorpio. But more than anything, I'm getting a transformation. Something's different. Or is going to be different. Whoa. And there's the Eight of Cups I just wanted to flip out there. Hold on. I dropped the Death card. Okay. Tell me about this Two of Swords, please. For Leo. Whoa. That is way too many, though. Like, too many. The Fool wanted to jump out. Interesting. Tell me about the Two of Swords for Leo. Thank you. Wow, the lovers has come out. Some of you, this could be someone that you've had a really loving relationship with at some point. A strong union. Um, you had a strong connection with someone. Um, either you had or you were walking towards someone. I don't think this is happening right now. Is this way what I'm trying to say. And I'm thinking that because I have the two of swords here. It's almost like you cannot decide to leave this connection or you cannot decide to accept a new connection. 
but there's love here is what I'm getting. I have the Queen of Cups under the deck and behind that Ace of Wands. Love and passion here. So this could have been a very passionate connection in the past or you're walking away towards this type of connection here. Tell me about the Six of Cups for Leo. Tell me about the Six of Cups for Leo. Whoa, and there's the Fool that wanted to flip up. I'm not taking these, there's too many. But the Fool definitely wanted to flip over, so I'm going to take that. Uh, a new journey here. Taking a leap of faith on an ex, on someone from the past, or breaking free from the past to go on a new journey to start something new here. Tell me more about the Fool and the Six of Cups. For Leo. Tell me more about the Fool and the Six of Cups, please. What's this energy all about? King of Cups. Again, lots of love here. Love, emotion, intuition. Could be a water sign you're dealing with. Could be an Aries. Could be a Gemini. I also have Sagittarius over here. So a lot of people here. Um, but more than anything, I'm getting that this is going to be a new journey in love. Could be with someone from your past. Could be someone completely new. If you're in a committed relationship, a loving committed relationship right now, then more, I mean, it could just be that there's a new phase in your relationship. Tell me about the 10 of cups, please. This is like happy life, happy family, um, emotional fulfillment as well. All these cups are emotional fulfillment here. I have the two of uh, pentacles that came out. So again, a decision here. There's a decision that you have to make, a decision that you're very stressed about. Some of you are feeling guilty, worried, stressed. I have 10 of wands under the deck. There's a burden here. Could be a burden connected to family. Oh my God, hold on. Tell me about the five of wands. What's this energy about with the five of wands? Sorry about that, guys. Those are my dogs playing. Please tell me about this five of wands. What's this conflict or situation here about? Others of you that where this is not a romantic relationship, you are considering leaving an op leaving a position for a new opportunity. You're worried about your family for some reason. Seven of Swords came out with the Five of Wands. Definitely some sneaky behavior here. Someone could have been trying to get away with something, cheating, lying, and you walked away from that and are just focused on yourself with the Eight of Pentacles under the deck. Tell me more about this Seven of Swords and Five of Wands. Spirit, tell me more, please, about the Seven of Swords. This Five of Wands energy for Leo. What is this all about? What happened, Leo? Something has happened. I feel like at some point you were very happy. And then now it's like you're just stressed and worried and needing to make this decision and dealing with this drama. Like something has happened. King of Wands, taking action. I feel like you're going to take action here. Hmm. Others of you, I feel like someone's trying to be sneaky about something they're passionate about. There's a six of wands, victory. Someone could want victory with you and they're just being sneaky about it and it's going to cause conflict. So, because you know, for others of you, this King of Wands is finding out what's happening here, and you're going to come out on top, is what I'm getting. With this Three of Pentacles, this could be a work situation, or it could be a third party situation, because I have the Three of Swords here and the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles. It's all about communicating, collaborating, building. Five of Pentacles definitely wanted to come out, because I think I saw it. When I was flipping or shuffling the card, sorry. So three of pentacles, five of pentacles. 
very dual energies here like um, opposing energies I cannot talk this mercury retrograde I swear so, so five of Pentacles is about struggle hardship being left out left behind needing help and three of Pentacles is all about let's work together let's build something so I feel like it could be that one of you wants to work on something and the other is just ready to shut this person out. I have judgment under the deck, so this could be a karmic cycle coming to an end here. It could be some sort of awakening or epiphany um, for others of you. Someone really wants to resurrect this. Someone wants to come out of the cold and build something here. Others of you have been struggling financially and you're looking for more opportunities in regards to work. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles. This is Five of Pentacles about for Leo. This is Five of Pentacles about for Leo. Okay. Four of Pentacles and the Moon. Interesting. Some of you have doubt or fear about where you are headed. And that's probably why you're stressed over here about your decision. Um, could be dealing with a Pisces, someone with Pisces in their chart. I feel like a lot of you have been struggling financially, trying to save money, trying to invest, trying to work on your finances here. Others of you are having a really hard time letting go of something, opening up as well. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. What is this Queen of Wands about? It's all about taking action here. I have the King of Wands. And the queen of wands so this could be a potential partnership with two people who feel strong chemistry strong attraction for each other wow seven of wands and ten of pentacles what is going on leo again i'm getting two very opposing energies here one person's like back off and the other one's like yes yeah, long-term stability <laughs> let's have a happy life <laughs> um yeah someone wants to make an offer with the knight of cups Tell me about, tell me about this Seven of Wands. What's this about? Seven of Wands about the star. Could be an Aquarius. I feel like a lot of you are um, healing or, or from a situation. Maybe you're not ready for this. Others of you are either blocked in Aquarius or in talking to Aquarius, push some, someone off. Um, I feel like someone wishes for this too, this Ten of Pentacles. It could go either way. I, I'm going to clarify this in the extended because this is throwing me off here. Someone wants this really bad. Um, and then someone's like, no, is what I'm getting. Interesting. Very interesting reading. But a lot of you are definitely walking away. I have the Eight of Cups here and you're going to walk away towards success. I just don't think you know about it yet with the moon um there's doubt and worry here um but you're focused on rebalancing the situation i feel like it's going to work out for you leo i just don't know what's going on what situation you're dealing with where it's kind of like back and forth here so if this is resonating please let me know down in the comments what this is all about i'll leave it here thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video